is currently Sunday and I'm heading to a cafe to get some other work that I've been wanting to get done like studying my languages which I haven't been able to do because I've been so tired from work but I already got all my work done for practically the whole week um, done earlier this morning and so now I'm gonna go and do some fun stuff that I've been wanting to do did not realize that they raised that whole building right there I got here and the best place to work was taken so I had to come sit over here but I was unpacking all my stuff and I realized I took my pencil case out and didn't bring any of my pencils or pens and so I guess I can run over to Daiso because it's pretty close by but oh my gosh very stupid of me so I'm gonna go do that once my food arrives and then I'll go grab that and then come back Got my pencil, now I'm ready to study, all set. Here is my food. The other day when I came with Tina, we ordered the waffles and I couldn't resist getting them again. I also did not eat that good of a lunch, so that's why I also have. Then this is ginger ale. That looks pretty good, right?
I'm heading to Bong Bong Coffee to grab something warm and maybe some sweets. My fingers are so frozen. Hello, I am finally back home and I will show you. I got my usual apple cinnamon tea and then yesterday I went to the cafe and she gave me one of these meringue cookies and they honestly taste so, so good. I had to go back and I got two of them because they're not that big. So I'm going to eat those tonight when I watch a movie and stuff. And then Wednesday, I believe. I finally got my two bags that I ordered off of JW Pay, um, and they're a vegan brand. And this is one of them. Doesn't it look so nice? And just like sleek and chic. It's super nice, and it has like this one outer pocket and then an inner pocket. And the packaging was really nice. I threw the box away already because. I was so excited to open it, but I was like too tired to film it, and so I only kept the bag that you can like protect it in. And then the other one is one that I have been eyeing so long because it kept coming up on Instagram and Facebook, I believe. And then there was a pre-Black Friday sale. And so I was like, oh, why not? So I got this one and the other one. That's why I bought two. I was only planning on buying this one. But it's like a dark chocolatey brown. But and it has two pockets in here. There's a separator in between. So it's very nice. I love how thick the strap is. I am very happy with these. And I hope I can wear the or use them sometime. 
the virus went back up to level two instead of level one. And so, what was it? My co coworker was telling me that there were like 500 new cases today. So I guess we'll see how things go, but I was planning to go up to Seoul this weekend, so tomorrow. Um, and that is like just not happening because uh, I decided not to go. Because I was like, a lot of the cafes are closed so you can only um, get takeout. I think some cafes are still open, but yeah, the ones that I want to go to, I'm not sure. I don't want to waste going all the way up. So now for the purchases that I made today before I came home, I bought this mask, which is like my absolute favorite, and then this one. It's, I haven't tried this one before, but my face needs soothing, like, in our office, the hot air is, like, blasting down on me, and so my face has been really super, super dry and cracking, and it, like, actually hurts right here, so I decided to go get these to use this weekend to hopefully get some moisture back in my face, um, so I bought these, they're my favorite, but they're kind of pricey. But they work, so I ended up getting them. And then I got 14 sets of stationery for my family and my really close friends. Some of my close friends. So I know some of my friends and family watch my YouTube. So I will only show you some of the ones that I know are not watching it. And then later, in a later video, I'll show you the other stationery that I got. Because it's also very cute. But here's one of them. I liked how it has the purple and then it has this thing that, that says 사랑하는 당신에게 so like to my loved one basically I thought this one was super super cute and then right here on the envelope it says like do you want to receive the message and it's just really cute and it comes with these little cute stickers that say for you and this time thing and then I got this peach and Ryan one and this is the little envelope and then this is the paper. I also got this cute one that says I love you so much and it comes with this cute envelope. So those are some of the ones that I bought and so I'll probably write them tomorrow so that I can send it soon so that hopefully it gets there in time for Christmas. Anyways, I will leave you here and I'm gonna watch some stuff, eat my cookies, and drink my tea, and just chill for the rest of today. It is super pretty outside, and I'm going to buy some food because I ran out of food, and I thought now was the perfect chance to show you the inside of a convenience store because one of my friends was requesting to see that on one of the videos so I thought oh now is the best time to do it because I'm going right now and I go all the time since it's so convenient because there's just like so many things in the convenience stores that you can buy instead of just going to the regular supermarket I came to this one and it's fairly small but there are definitely ones that are bigger than this and there's also ones that are smaller than this and it varies what's inside but they usually have all the basic essentials. Here they have all these snacks that you can eat that are popular with um, drinking. 
they also offer a bunch of ice cream and then some frozen dumplings that I like to get and some other frozen food that you can buy. There's all these cooking goods that they have, like cooking oil and salt and sugar, flour, and some tea and mixed coffee, and then the curries and some instant rice. There's this whole, whole aisle of all these different ramen brands. I would have to say this Nongshin brand is probably my favorite. On this side, they have laundry detergent and some other things, some tools that you might need, um, home toiletries, all that kind of good stuff. This aisle are the snacks and candy and cookies and crackers. So that concludes my short tour of the convenience store. There was one aisle that I didn't shoot because the lady was there staring at me walking around. So um, I ended up not doing that one, but it was also another aisle full of like, um, they have like nylon stockings you can buy and just like face masks and just a bunch of other like, like toothpaste and all this kind of stuff that you can buy there. So it was just a continuation of that one wall. So now I'm gonna go home eat some food and get some work done so I just got back and I wanted to show you what I ended up buying I came in and bought some cola or coke and then I got some kimbap it has egg and it looks like ham and some meat so that looks good my favorite shrimp dumplings I got some kimchi this is like my favorite one at the place. They have several different ones, but this one tastes the best to me. And then I got this dessert. It has the ice cream and the red bean and then some like rice cake in it as well. So good. I have all my cards picked out. So I'm just going to start writing all of them and I need to get them written because I want them to be sent and like be delivered hopefully. By, by Christmas. Finished writing my letter and on to like many, many more. So I just finished all the cards. My hand is in so much pain um, because I wrote so much. But now I'm going to try to send these sometime this weekend. But I'm still debating whether to send because I sent some ones to my friends. And so I was debating about whether to send them all in the same envelope with my family's ones. And then have my family send it from there because I can get the whole packet like expedited instead of like sending the individual ones and I know that takes way longer and I don't think it will arrive on time if I do that um, so I asked my mom what she thinks I should do so I'm waiting to hear back about that also I didn't want to do that as well because some of the envelopes like this one are see-through and so writing on it some of them didn't have spaces to write on and so I was a little bit concerned about that hopefully my mom will get back to me but if she does tell me to send them separately, then I'll probably buy another envelope to put these things in so that I can write on the outside the address and everything. But yeah, that is everything that I've done today. And then I'm going to edit this video and hopefully have it up by Tuesday.